welcome kids. Today is week 21, day one. And our highlight verse for today is 1 Kings 17, 1 through 7. So let's go to the King James Version first. Read with me. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook, Cherith, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. Now we'll read from the NIRV version, 1 Kings 17, 1 through 7. Elijah was from Tishbe in the land of Gilead. He said to Ahab, I serve the Lord. He is the God of Israel. You can be sure that he lives, and you can be just as sure that there won't be any dew or rain on the whole land. There won't be any during the next few years. It won't come until I say so. Then a message came to Elijah from the Lord. He said, leave this place, go east and hide in the Kareth Valley. It is east of the Jordan River. You will drink water from the brook. I have directed some ravens to supply you with food there. So Elijah did what the Lord had told him to do. He went to the Kareth Valley. It was east of the Jordan River. He stayed there. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning. They also brought him bread and meat in the evening. He drank water from the brook. Sometime later, the brook dried up. It hadn't rained in the land for quite a while. So what does all of that mean? Well, it sounds pretty amazing what I heard. I heard that the Lord gave a message that there would be no rain and he took care of who? He took care of Elijah and told him to go by the brook and that he would be taken care of there. He could have water, all that he needed. And then he said the ravens would feed him. Isn't that wonderful? Could you imagine a bird coming up to you and feeding you like it does its babies? That would be so cool. <laughs> but we have our moms and dads for that. So thank God. Anyway, so let's get back to the lesson. Our book says, explain section, Elijah told King Ahab that God would send, would not send rain to the land for a long time. Elijah told King Ahab what God told him. And he said, there will not be rain for a long time. God spoke to Elijah, telling him to hide from the evil king, Ahab, in a valley filled with water. God sent ravens to bring food to Elijah, and Elijah drank from the water hole until it dried up. Elijah was a mighty prophet of God who did amazing things with God's help. Elijah brought news to King Ahab of a famine that would hit the land. He told the king that God would not provide rain for a long time. God instructed Elijah to hide in a safe place that had water. While Elijah was in hiding, God sent ravens to bring food to him. Isn't that just the best? 
God takes care of us, doesn't he? Now, how can we apply this to our life? Says, with a parent, talk about a time when God provided something for you and or your family. So you go ahead and have that conversation with your parents. But before you do, we're going to respond in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for knowing all my needs and providing for me. Before I go, I want to share a little something that God has done for me in providing for me. My husband and I were, it was a long time ago, and um, he got laid off of his job. And I was working, but not very much. He was the one who paid most of our bills. And so when he got laid off, there wasn't going to be a lot of money to come in. So what can we do about that? We looked at each other and asked, how do we fix this? Well, we asked God to fix it. We told him we didn't know what else to do and we needed his help. And do you know what? God took care of us. He gave us ideas on what we could do to um, make our money last longer. So he gave us wisdom. And he pointed us in the right direction. And the next thing you know, we are doing really well. And then he got his job back and everything worked out. But we didn't know what we were going to do. We gave it to the Lord. We said, Lord, we need you. And he took care of us. So I wanted to share that with you. Now it's time for our memory verse. Psalm 63, 1. Let's go to the King James Version first. Psalm 63, 1, King James Version. O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Psalm 63, 1. O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Psalm 63, 1. O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version, Psalm 63, 1. God, you are my God. I seek you with all my heart. With all my strength, I thirst for you in this dry desert where there isn't any water. God, you are my God. I seek you with all my heart. With all my strength, I thirst for you in this dry desert where there isn't any water. God, you are my God. I seek you with all my heart. With all my strength, I thirst for you in this dry desert where there isn't any water. All right, have a great day, kids. See you next time.